And welcome to The Factor Uncensored. We're kicking things off with a story you only see here on Fox, an exclusive interview with a man who killed a beloved sheriff's deputy here in our community, Sandeep Dollywall. Now, Robert Solis is behind bars with a death sentence hanging over his head. Solis told Fox 26's Randy Wallace what happened the day he gunned down Officer Dollywall. And of course, Randy is here. You always get the exclusives. Glad to have you here I'm on the Factor. Thank you, sir, for having this me. This is such a tragic situation. It is. So many people were hurt when Deputy Dolly Wall was killed. He was not just a deputy, but he was also the face of the sick community here. Uh, he was first to allow to wear his head yes. dress, and, Turban, and, and it yes. was just devastating. He, he was even here on the Factor Uncensored. So talking to Robert Solis, what was that like? Did he admit to killing the deputy? No, it, it was one of those situations too, Isaiah, where as you know, you know, these death row inmates, they agree to an interview. Yes. Then you go to the Polonsky unit in Livingston, but they can basically say, well, I don't want to do it. Well, we get up there, he's brought out, he takes a look at me, and he's like, I don't want to do it. What the, what the hell was it yeah. about you, Randy? <laughs> Here, he'll, he'll explain okay. me why he was hesitant. Let's take a look. Um, what made you change your mind, Robert? As far as what? Uh, talking to us. <sighs> Speaking with some other people, um, and then taking into consideration a, a lot of your broadcast, you're, you're not uh, you're not the, the the friendliest individual to, to individuals that uh, that um, are accused of offenses or uh, are here. Uh, I used to watch your Breaking Bond segment, etc. You know, there's a lot of mention about uh, uh, about the repeat offenders, but I mean, I never hear you talking anything about the rights of uh, of the citizens. Not the Bingo. funniest guy, huh? Bingo! <laughs> Damn it, that means, Randy, you're doing your job. There you go, that's he right. He knows that's you're breaking right. Bond series, he knows that you're not friendly, and you're a serious investigative reporter. So, and, of, and of course, you know, we wanted him to talk about what happened that day. Mm -hmm. He kind of goes all over the place, but here's what he said when he asked him about that day. At that time, you were, did you know you were a wanted fugitive that day? This is where it gets complicated, Mr. Wallace, and that's why I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to go into too much of it. How did it happen, Robert? How, how did all this happen? I don't know. Um, I wish I had an answer for you. Uh, I mean, there are people that say that you were, a, you were a wanted fugitive at the time. You just walked up to him from behind and shot him in the head. If you look at the evidence, that's not, that's not... I mean, that's what appears to have happened. But then what, what really happened. happened? If that didn't happen, I mean, it's in it's in the record. It's, it's there, Mr. Wallace. He's he's very evasive. Mm -hmm. He he wants to make it out like it was an accident. Right. He he repeated that several times. It was an accident. It was an accident. How do you accidentally shoot somebody in the head? Right. Another of, of his big contentions is intent. That well, that was not my intent. That was not my intent. Well. But that's what you did. I mean, it right, really exactly. doesn't matter, you right. know, what your intent was. And, of course, since he brought up Breaking Bond, I had to ask him about that. Okay. Here's what he had to say about Breaking Bond. You mentioned Breaking Bond a, a few minutes ago. What do you think? I mean, is Harris County, is, is crime a problem in Harris County? Should people be concerned about it? Absolutely. Crime's a problem anywhere. I mean, um, I, I've always looked at it like this, Mr. Wallace. I, regardless of your lifestyle, whether you're a criminal or whether you're a thug or whether you're an attorney or a judge or a school teacher, um, this life, um, I mean, if all men are truly created equal, I don't have to agree with the things that you do, but I have to respect them. And if, if you chose a life of crime, if, if these people that are breaking bond and doing these things chose a life of crime, hey, I don't, I don't agree with it. But that's their choice. What do you say <laughs> to that, Randy? And keep in mind, Isaiah, everyone will recall, he represented himself. He fired his court-appointed attorneys the day they went to trial. And that's another thing, too. Now he wants to say that the judge did that. Well, mm -hmm. no, that's not what happened. He decided that he was going to represent himself. Now, in my opinion, that you know how the, these death row cases 
They get they go through all these appeal processes. I could see him getting a new trial because he represented himself. Do you think that was intentional? You have to wonder. This is the thing about him. Because he, once you become an individual with your back up against the wall, you become smart. He, you he, think of every angle. He is a smart man. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's obviously an evil man, but he's a smart man, and he knows how to manipulate things. And I think that that probably was what he was thinking. That Because at the end, then he's sort of, well, I want an attorney now. Well, you've already gone through the trial. You right. can't say now and that you want an attorney. What did he do before? For all of this, what he, was his job? Being a criminal, I okay, mean, he has a okay. criminal record that goes back to the, the age of 14. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, he's got a very lengthy rap sheet. And of course, we want to send our condolences and our sympathy to Deputy Dollywall's family. Obviously, this will be something that will impact them for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Now, one thing that he did say that while he wants another trial. He does not want it for the Dollywall family. He, he wouldn't, he, he is somewhat sympathetic when he talks about them, but it's not, you know, tears coming right, right. down his face and, you know, showing a lot of emotion. All right. Randy Wallace, always good to see you. My favorite investigator. Thank you.